The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Edo State, don't announce it, then don't start the Continuous Voters Registration, CVR. The commission made this announcement on Thursday, 16th May 2024, for one stakeholders meeting with Shele for the Coalition Center, INEC State Office, Ikubahi, Benin City. The Honorable Resident Electoral Commissioner, Dr. Anubu Onuha, for a welcome address, Konya and said the registration will start on Monday, 27th May 2024 to Wednesday, 5th June 2024 from 9 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the evening every day, even for weekends, Bakwa, and said them go conduct the exercise for the 192 wards, including the Commission State Headquarters. The engagement with and support from partners and stakeholders is one of the critical factors for, for, for the success of the election electoral process. And it is on that note that I welcome you all to this all important meeting. It is important to update you on the activities of the Commission so far. The Commission, under the able leadership of Professor Mahmoud Yahoud, has published the final list of candidates for Edo State Governorship election. Following the conclusion of uh, political party primaries and the end of the period for withdrawal and substitution of candidates as provided in the timetable and schedule of activities for the election. The continuous voters registration will commence on Monday, 27th May 2024 to Wednesday, 5th June 2024, beginning from 9 a.m. to 3 a.m. daily, including weekends. The exercise will be conducted at the 192 wards and our state headquarters, number three, Bini Auchu Road, Ekoba, Hill, Bini City. There will be no online pre registration option in the door because of time constraints. Each center will be managed by two officials drawn. from our regular staff and the National Youth Service Call, NYC. In the, recent, in the next few days, the Commission will commence the training of the officials for the exercise. We have already applied to um, NYC. In addition to the registration of voters, the Commission will also make available the uncollected permanent voters card, PVC, for collection during the, this exercise. Also note, no PVC will be collected by proxy. Registered voters are encouraged to come in person to collect their cards. Furthermore, we seek the support of the media, civil societies, organizations, traditional rulers, religious leaders, ETC, and encouraging voters to locate and pick up their PVC in course of this exercise. An overview of the CVR exercise will be done by the Director of Voters Registry. I cannot end this address without recognizing the positive role of the security agencies in a those state. We are grateful. Honorable National Commissioner Professor Roda Gamus, where they represented by Dr. Anubu Onoha, Contox say it is very important to update the register of voters so that those who don't reach 80 years go fit register and also those who don't fair register before. Those who want to do location transfer go fit do them online for the commission website. This stakeholders meeting is time as we have less than four months, essentially four months, four days to the election. That is the Edo state election, 21st September 2024. From today, we have four months, four days. The commission has scheduled the governorship election for Edo state. From 16th May to 21st 
September 2024. In line with the provisions of the law, Section 26, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act 2022, which mandates the Commission to publish a notice in the state conducting election not later than 360 days before the day appointed for the holding of the election under the Act. The Electoral Act in Section 9, Subsection 1, also mandates Commission to compile, maintain, update on the continuous basis a register of a register of voters. On June 28, 2001, the Commission commenced the continuous voters registration exercise, which was suspended on the 31st of June 2022 to prepare for the 2023 general election in line with Section 9, Subsection 6 of the 2022 electoral act which permits the commission to stop registration of voters updating revision of the voters register of voters not later than 90 days before any election covered by the act it is now close to two years since the CVR exercise was suspended and many young persons must have turned up to 20, uh, 18 years after the exercise was suspended. On 11th of February 2023, the Commission published statistics of registered voters for Edo as 2,501,000. The number of BBC collected and uncollected were 2,126, 200, and 88,000, and 373,030, respectively. In preparing for 2024 a governorship election, it is imperative to update the register of voters to allow persons who turned 20, uh, 18 years since the exercise was suspended in 2022, as well as those who have not registered before or wish to transfer their registration to their new location to participate in the forthcoming election. The CR, CVR exercise is proposed for 10 days to commence on the 27th May to 5th June 2024. This will enable prospective registrants enough time to register before the governorship election. Similarly, those who are registered voters also have the opportunity of transferring their registration from other states of the Federation to Edo or one location to another within the state. Also note that CVR is only open to new entrants and those who seek to transfer their registration. Persons who have registered as voters should not attempt to register again as multiple registration is illegal. Lost or damaged cars, voters card will be replaced during this exercise. In addition to the registration, Uncollected permanent voters register uh, cards 
we made available for collection. Also, the list of uncollected PVC will be published in the state office soon and subsequently uploaded to the Commission website. The Commission, therefore, appeals to all stakeholders to join us in mobilizing prospective registrants to come out in mass for the exercise. Also encourage those who have not collected their PVC in the state to seize this opportunity to do so. I strongly believe that you will give your usual cooperation and also sensitize citizens to come out in their numbers for this exercise. Director of Voters Registry 2, the Gafaru, where they represented by in Deputy Doris Kande Waimo, can took out on the process of the CVRO exercise and said the registration are constitutional right for all eligible citizens. The commission may use as registration centers such public places as schools, halls, parks, town halls, open spaces, and booths provided, I'm sorry, approved by the commission. Provided that these registration centers are not cited in the following places like mosques, churches, shrines, or palaces of traditional rulers, political party offices, club houses, petrol or gas stations, or private residential premises. In line with section 96 of the Electoral Act 2022, registration of voters, updating and revision of the register of voters shall stop not later than 90 days before any election covered by this act. Now, can the eligibility of those that are supposed to are meant to come out and register? Now, you have to be a citizen of Nigeria. You must have attained the age of 18 years on or before the registration date, not after. Not after we see but on or before. It's 18 years or above, but could not register. And as if you're 18 years and fully register during the previous exercise, you are allowed, you're supposed to, mandatory or voluntary. Please come and vote so you encourage them to do that. And if you're resident in that environment at that period of that time, work in the area or originate from that local government or area council or area that's work covered by the registration center, you are supposed to come and register. Not subject to any legal incapacity to vote under any law, rules, or regulation in force in Nigeria. You must present yourself or herself to the registration officer by yourself, come out and bring proof of ID, your age and nationality, if requested. You have a PVC, you should have a PVC or TBC. But if you have a PVC or a TBC that's separate from the style or permanent, but your name is not in that register of voters, you check it your name is not there, you're allowed to come and register. The registration process is based on the following principles. One, registration is done in person, not by sending your brother, sister, or friend. So by proxy, anyone who qualifies to register must appear in person at the registration center for registration. Now, multiple registration is not allowed. A voter can only register once and in one registration center, not from here to be excelled or worried, no. One registration center. If the voter resides in more than one constituency, they all have houses in other places, you will choose one place, one location, where you would like to vote. That's where you register, not in all the places that you have house, or you want to stay, or you have a residence there. Registration is a prerequisite for voting in an election. Guiding, guiding principles of continuation there. Restriction to vote is constitutional rights. It's a right for all eligible citizens. Registration centers must be open and accessible to all qualified persons that are eligible to register and vote. Registration is done in public. It's not done in secret. You have to do it in a public place. Registration shall be conducted in a public space, freely accessible to accredited national and international observers because we have them on, on the field observing what we're doing, that we're doing it right. And that's transparency. Party agents as well as representatives of media organizations. 
conduct of senior officials. Now, the senior officials, that is the residential officer, the officials shall be cautious, polite, and helpful at all times, treating all persons equally with respect. The actions and activities of residential officials should be characterized by the highest ethical standard, such as integrity, impartiality, transparency, fairness, professionalism, and gender sensitivity. We also have the inclusivity of vulnerable groups like the PWDs. The PWDs, we met them already, the elderly people, the pregnant women, and trusty mothers. Conduct. Persons presenting themselves for registration should be cautious, cautious, orderly, and civil to the registration officials. Refrain from any untoward conduct, including harassment and verbal abuses. The Commission may prosecute anyone, anybody who assaults staff on severe duties. Registration status continues. The Commission scheduled the governor's election in Edo State for the 21st of September 2024, in line with sections 1782 of the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended, which states that an election to the office of the governor of the state shall be held on a date not earlier than 150 150 days and not later than 30 days before the expiration of the term of office of the last holder of that office. The Act 2022 in sections 9 and 10 emphasize that there shall be continuous registration of all persons qualified to be registered as voters. The Commission is therefore mandated to compile, to maintain and update on a continuous basis as national. <laughs> Sorry. The last continuous voter registration of CBR exercise started in June 2021 and it was suspended in July 2022, ahead of the 2023 general election that took place last year, February. After the suspension of the CBR exercise in 2021-22, CBR data was merged together with the existing voters, uh, the, um, voters in the database, giving it a total of two. Five zero one zero eight one registered voters for NOCs. This is the list for all of our governments. The number of uh, registered voters you can see up here it added up to two five zero one zero eight one. Methodology. The continuous voter registration CBR exercise will commence on Monday, the 27th May 2024, and end on Wednesday, 5th June 2024. It's a 10 days, the 10 days for CBR process. So the voter registration exercise will be conducted at the state office and the areas for 10 days, including weekends and Days that's throughout the 10 days, any public holiday or weekend, it should take place. The exercise will commence by 9 a.m. and end by 3 p.m. daily, including the weekends and the public holidays. And everybody that's on the queue by 3 p.m. will be allowed to register, not after 3 p.m., but if you're there by 3 p.m., you're going to register. That's the target group. People are targeting are uh, all Nigerians who are 18 years of age or above, but have not registered in the previous exercises. All registered voters who had an issue with accreditation in the past severe authentication in the previous election, or they have to come out, they should come out, they are advised to come out and be registered. All registered voters who wish to transfer their voting locations from the present one where they are to where they will be to another one where they will be for the election that will be holding are also allowed to register. All registered voters who have lost their PVCs or whose PVCs have been defaced or damaged, they are also 
ensure that they are assigned, these people will assign you to the correct place close to your house, correct place close to your local government area or police or, you know, where you that these things are assessed and registered and vote for the election day. The issues, sorry, the issues, the issues all relevant forms, he assigns the registrar to the nearest voting unit close to his or her residence. He issues the PDC to registered voters who are yet to collect. Because some people haven't collected the PDC, they are available. And at this moment, this period of the 10 days we have now, your advice to let your people know that you can come out now and check and pick up their PDCs because they are available. So, handle all documentation on transfer, updates of voter information, and all incidents. Now, this is for arrow two, the second step, that's at the other end. It captures prospective registrants with their biometrics using the IBEN. Enter the data in the MAMA register. Issue a registration slip after the door order. You get a slip. Handles all documentation on transfers. So she also handles the transfer, that's the form she will fill for transfer. Update of voter information and all incidents within the same array. She uses the IBEG or he or she uses the IBEG. Now we have the forms. We have four forms in this. In the CBR process, we have the EC1, the EC2, EC3, and EC4. Here, EC1 is an inclusive form, but you must register and you're 18 or you have not registered even though you're, you're over, above 18. You need to fill the EC1 form. Who is anyone above 18 years to fill and confirm that he or she has not been registered before? Or even if you're an adult, you haven't done it before, you fill that form. Transfer form EC4 will be issued for transfer. Request you return to the EO for administrative approval. And once the EO approves, sends it, gets it, sends it to the REC. The REC now gives the final approval and sends it back to the EO and then for collection. For a team of technical support officers will be deployed from the headquarters to the state in conjunction with technical staff in the state's office to provide technical support throughout the period of excess. We have INEC helplines here. We have the numbers that start from 0700, but it has from 2255 to 432. So you can call any of these numbers here, or you can use the short code, which is easier, 4632. You'll be able to meet, get someone, one of our help desk to attend to you and solve your issues or queries. Now, this is how the display will be like. So, this is the display of preliminary register of voters. That's after the CBR, what you've done, so for what you've done, we have captured of you, your information data, your pictures, will be placed on display in the area where you have register yourself. So you go there, you are invited to go there, have a look. The preliminary register of voters shall be displayed at each registration centre following the CBI website. So if there's any error in your name, your title, your occupation, your address, you can now fill a form. And that form is called the claims and objection form. It's called from EC2 and from EC3. If you remember, we use from EC1 and from EC4 in the other slide. Now, for claims, you use EC2 and EC3. EC2 is used by any registered voter to make claim. If he or her name is not on that display that you just saw in the previous slide. So, if it's omitted or incorrectly spelled or stated in the register to have his or her name corrected or inserted, you know, sometimes it can be blank, your name will not be there, you see your picture. So many issues. So this, this is the form you use. Now EC3 is used by any person who may by notice, sorry, who may or by notice in writing object to the inclusion. You see something, someone's name appearing in the register of voters on the ground that the person is not certified, person maybe might not be alive or something is not right. You write, put it in writing. It's issued by any person who may by notice in writing object to the inclusion of any name appearing in the preliminary register of voters on the ground that the person did not satisfy the prescribed conditions as stated in the CBI guidelines. Maybe the person doesn't leave your community. It's coming from another community. There's so many reasons. Anyway, this is a sample form for that. For registration, that's the one, that's easy one. This is 
from EC1. This is this. for those that are 18 years old or just turned 18, on or before the severe start. Permanent voter scans. In addition to registration of voters on collected permanent voter scans, PVCs will be available for collection during the exercise. We have to let your people know that if they have registered the previous um, registration exercise, they should go out and pick up their PVCs they are ready. They shouldn't go and register themselves. The commencement of the continuous voters' registration and sake of the governorship election will go shall for Saturday, 21st September 2024. Make another forget, say, as we see them, now so we they talk them. We know they take blame. From INEC office, Ekata Ojisoli, TMC TV News.